Simplifying logarithmic expressions, part one. Um, so here's what I have for you. Here's what I have for you. And there's a ton of ways to prove this, but this is kind of weird looking, isn't it? Here's five, five, to the power of log base five of x. To that power, that's really weird, right? Because if I was to ask you, what form is this in? If I was to say to you, compadre, is this in logarithmic form or is this in exponential form? I could see how a person might be a little confused. I think it's in exponential form because this is an exponent. So I'm going to rewrite this, if you don't mind. And from there, I think it gets really easy. So here's this 5, and I'm going to put this thing put into log form. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the word log. And what is being raised to the power? The 5 is, so log base 5, right? Of something. Now I'm going to test this back and see if it holds up. Log base 5 of x. So let's do this if you don't mind. Let's take this here and see if we, if we put it back together, if it doesn't go back to this. Isn't this how this would work? If I was going to put this in exponential form, this is the base right here. And it would, it's, we talked about this a bunch in class, uh, that we would take this raised to this power equals this thing, isn't it? And it does. It goes right back to that, doesn't it? But look at this for a second. Compare these two st compare these two sides. And isn't the only thing missing here, this is log base 5, this is log base 5, this is log base 5 of x, isn't it? This is log base 5 of x over here, isn't it? So what do we need here? x. So our answer here should just be x. All right? Uh, let's see if we can take another one in a similar way, and let's take a look at that one. And that's this one. Log base 2 of 2 to the x. <clears throat> Same thing again. I'm going to set this equal to something. I'm going to set this equal to something. So here's my something over here. Right? 2 raised to some power is equal to 2 raised to the power of x. So what would make that complete? I believe, my friend, that that again is x. So here's my x. We can test it. 2 raised to the power of x would be 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x, question mark. And yes, it is. So if I remove this from exponential, uh, sorry, from logarithmic form, put it in an exponential form, get back to a good answer, don't we? Okay, let's look at another one. Um, oh, let's look at this one. I like it a lot. Uh, it's sorry. <laughs> yeah, I like this one a lot. It's log base four of sixteen to the x, right? And we're trying to simplify this expression, but doesn't look too good, does it? Looks kind of weird. So, the, oh, this is what I'm gonna do. I got it. I got it in my end. I'm just going to rewrite this. So here's my rewrite, and if you've watched my videos or been in my class before, this is I'm famous for rewriting everything. Sorry, but log base 4, that's that. 16 is 4 squared, isn't it? 4 squared. It says to the power of x. So that this x right here is this one, isn't it? <clears throat> so that gives us a log the base of 4 of 4. 4 to the 2x power equals something. Well, 4 raised to what power is the same as 4 raised to the power of 2x? Well, 2x is our answer. All right? So there's our answer. So far, so good? All right. Let's try another. Let's try yet another. Well, here's one that's a little bit different. Just give you an idea of some different looks here. Log... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, just log. Nice. The common log of 100 raised to the x power. <clears throat> well, here's what I'm asking you to see in your head. Um, I told you guys I see in green, so this is what I'm seeing in my head. When I see this, I don't see a base here, but I know there is a base, and that base is 10, right? In the absence of a base, we assume the base 10, right? 
So then this is my, I guess my next step here is I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to call this log base 10, which is the same as log. It's just saying log, isn't it? And then I'm going to trade in my 100 for 10 squared, right? 10 squared. And see this X right here? That one right there is this one right here. So let's see if we can see this now. I'm going to rewrite yet again. Log base 10 of 10 to the 2x. Well, what is this going to be? This is going to be 2x again. I'm kind of sorry I did this. No, it's alright. Alright? Okay. Alright. I think, let's see where we are. Let's see where we are for time. And for time, we're at we're at six minutes. I'm going to let it go and tell you good work and keep practicing. This is coming along great.